YouTube. Yeah, caught slacking, trying to take me a nap before I came out here. But this is uh, this is the patch part right here. So I put the glue on it, even though it's raining. The glue is strong enough; it's gonna it's gonna hold it in place. So what I like about this stuff. Here's the other one right here. It's already got a seam. I tried to buy some of this from the truck stop one day, but for whatever reason, it didn't seem like it was as strong. So, I don't know. But, that's the first one. Like I said, I'll be back to you with the second one in the rain. YouTube back. This is part two. It stopped raining, which is which is good, because I didn't want to be out here in the rain any longer than I had to be. But these are the holes I got to patch. I got this spot right here. As you can see, it's pretty big, but as long as I kind of keep it on the seam or whatever like that, I can just put the tape on it and the glue that'll stick. Um, got this one as well. These particular ones aren't from the from the car that I had but this one right here the way I had the had it tarped you can see it goes all the way back here so like I said it's still kind of connecting somewhat so as long as it's still kind of connected I can just put the glue on it and the tape is uh wide enough to to fit if you've never seen any of it um this is the glue right here like i said i like it because even though it was raining it still sticks and this is the tape now mind you this is not all the tape that i used it just doesn't come in any it just doesn't come in a big a big pack but it's so expensive this is the other one that i didn't use yet but i don't think i'm gonna need it for what it is that I'm doing, like I said, some good stuff. You just don't get a you just don't get a lot of it, and it's it's pretty expensive. But I like it a little bit better than Gorilla Glue. So um, I'm gonna patch that up, show the results. I couldn't show you the results on this one right here because, like I said, it was raining. But since it's I think it'll stop for the day. I'm gonna show you. What I did, so I got one, two, I got three to patch up, so I saw the results when I finished. Well, I got finished with it. Started back raining again, so I couldn't record the ending of it. I thought I wasn't gonna need any more tape. I thought I had enough flex seal tape for it, but I didn't, so I had to run over to the local hardware store and get some duct, not some duct tape, but some Gorilla tape, which, like I said, um, it doesn't do well with wet surfaces. So I just had to put some of the Flex Seal glue underneath it, press it down, um, then it's stuck. But as far as just trying to put it on there without the Flex Seal glue, it wasn't gonna work at all. So I got that, got them rolled up, and should be good until another hole pops in, hopefully. They won't, um, but you just never know. So, but that's a tip. If you gotta pass some tarps, from my from my experience, just try to use uh, Flex Seal. I know they have some other stuff out there, but if you're not around those type of places like myself, the easy alternate is going to Lowe's, get some Flex Seal. Depending on how many holes you got, you're gonna need two minimum. Right, two minimum. So if you feel like you got a bunch, just go ahead and get three or four. Um, it's gonna cost some money, but you know, <laughs> it's, it's a business expense. Just just chalk it up, write it off. <laughs> but this quick update, got my tarps patched, and I was gonna go back to work tomorrow, but my wife is having an issue with her car, and she works days, so. I'll probably just take another day off and just go back in Thursday, make it a full seven days, because I came in last Thursday. Um, so, yeah, that's what I do. So, hopefully, be back to y'all Thursday with 
some load information are probably late Wednesday, depending on uh, if dispatch calls and says that they have something on the books for the next day. Sometimes they do. All right, peace.